Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate the whole database script in MySQL Workbench. So let's uh, connect to the Workbench, and then uh, we will connect to the one of the MySQL server. Here we have different uh, connections. Uh, I'm going to connect one of the MySQL server that I have installed on Linux box. Uh, I have uh, multiple databases such as TBIT, T Tech Brothers IT, and others. Uh, I would like to create the scripts uh, for TBIT. So what I need to do here, I will be going to the server on top of that. So go to server menu here, and then you will see data export. Uh, click on that one, and then here you have a uh, first of all you will be able to select the schema or database. Uh, so whichever uh, database you want to export, in my case, uh, I'm going to export only TBIT. You can select all of them if you would like. But uh, in our case, uh, we are selecting only one database. Okay, here you have, uh, once you click there, you will be able to select the objects. Uh, so I'm exporting all of them. So if you don't want to export TB, let's say TBL uh, underscore employee. So you can uh, exclude that. Now you have uh, different options here. You have uh, uh, data structure, data structure, and uh, uh, sorry, dump structure and data, dump data only, and dump structure only. In my case, as I'm only scripting the entire database uh, without uh, data, uh, maybe I want to use this uh, script to create uh, another uh, copy of uh, this database as empty database uh, for for the application. So only script for the create uh, objects. So that's what I would like to do. Then you have, uh, okay, what other objects uh, such as store procedure I want to uh, include in the script as well. Yes, uh, dump events. If you have created the events, you can put that and the uh, triggers. Okay, now from here, next part is the export dump project folder that uh, you can do it uh, here and then you can import uh, if you want uh, later. But in my case, uh, what I would like to do, I would like to uh, write this uh, file uh, to this dot uh, sql uh, file so let me do that right here i'm gonna go ahead and go to the desktop and uh, on desktop i will call this one tb it and the uh, script and you can see that the file extension is a dot sql okay good and uh, we are all good here if you want to create a dump in single transaction or self-contained file only so if you want to um, this run a whole dot uh, sql file in one transaction uh, then you can select it here in our case it's fine we can do that if you don't want to do it it's fine as well and if uh, you want to include create schema um, um, definition or uh, DDL or data definition language if you want to create that like okay create database uh, uh, statement in your script uh, you can uh, include this part of it we are all set here with our selections of different options that we need to select for our script and now we can start export okay it's completed if uh, you need to export again you can do it otherwise uh, your this is your file uh, that has been uh, created uh, on c user desktop i'm going to go ahead and open it directly so once i open it this file will open uh, in uh, our workbench now if you see here it has a create database if not exist tbit and then uh, it has uh, all other definitions such as uh, okay create table departments uh, um create table employee I do not have events or uh, store procedures or functions uh, in this database, so that's why we don't see any of them, but we see only the create table definitions. So that's all, uh, but you will be able to uh, create uh, the, uh, the script for entire database by using the data export uh, uh, wizard and uh, uh, then you can export this file to any other server or maybe run on the same server with different uh, uh, options whatever you need to do you can use it uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video